There's a football team in Las Vegas. The Las Vegas Raiders. Yeah. Las Vegas Raiders. They have the Las Vegas Golden Knights. It's a hockey team, right? The Golden Knights mm-hmm. are pretty sure they have what else? Las Vegas Aces. Is that a WNBA team? I think so. There you go. No NBA team. Not yet. No NBA team yet. But why? Or uh, what makes you say that? Or what makes you bring that up? <clears throat> I don't know. It's just kind of weird. It's like uh, Las Vegas just gets bigger and bigger. I'm sending an NFL team over here. And then the Raiders, you know. Were they the Oakland Raiders? Yeah, they were the Oakland Raiders. Or were they the... I think they were in Los Angeles at one point. Were they Los Angeles Raiders? Right. I don't know. Am I tripping? I feel like they moved. the origin of the origin. They I think they moved a couple, a couple times. times. Yeah, I think they moved twice maybe. How many cities have the Raiders been? Yeah, I think I remember seeing somebody wearing like a Los Angeles Raiders hat or a t-shirt. I just remember thinking, what the hell? Los <laughs> Angeles Raiders. Yeah. <clears throat> 1960 was Oakland and then in 1982... They moved to Los Angeles, and then they moved back to Oakland in 1995 until they went to Vegas. Okay. Same thing with the Chargers. Or, you know, that's what happened is the Chargers were like, well, we can have two California teams. San Diego. You guys go back to Oakland, (laughs) (laughs) which is crazy. Now they're L.A. There's two L.A. teams now. Oh, yeah. Rams and Chargers. And there's two L.A. baseball teams, Angels, Argus. Yeah, Angels and... uh, Dodgers, they got the Clippers and so Lakers. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, they're killing it. We do pretty good. We've got the Cowboys and the Texans. Texas is a lot. Spurs, Rockets, Mavericks. We got a fuck ton, dude. Baseball mm-hmm. too. Hmm. Yeah, Astros, Rangers. What drives that? Just money, people. Yeah, right. I guess the population. The demographic of people who, I guess just overall population, maybe. New York has a whole bunch of teams. Right, I guess. Yeah. What are the biggest cities that don't have a team? <laughs> but they feel snubbed. I guess like, uh, for example, yeah, it you, was... You think what I'm thinking? <laughs> <laughs> it was what you call it. It was the. It used to be the Seattle Supersonics. Mm. And then that transformed into, dissolved, and then rebirthed into the Oklahoma City Thunder. Yeah. Like Kevin Durant. So it was like Seattle was just like not selling enough tickets and Oklahoma City's like, we ready. We hungry. Give us a professional sports team. I guess so. They were just waiting for it. Right? I don't know. They were next up. They were like, we got people. We got a little. I think part of it is you have to have like a nightlife scene in your city. People want to go to basketball games, you know? Something. Like Chicago, Bulls. You know what I'm saying? But that's a small city compared to like New York, I think. Mm. I don't know though. Um, we're not professionals <laughs> dude we're austin texas number three on biggest cities without a sports team we're really out here in the meta dude come on austin just like the general meta you yeah. know <laughs> we got we got it's time joe rogan's comedy mothership yeah we, the, the eclipse is literally happening over over austin just feel like it's really getting a lot of play in the news lately you know <laughs> let's go <clears throat> but yeah then they said it's uh, popping. some notable some notable places Oh, uh, San Bernard Riverside, San Bernardino, Ontario, Canada. Metro population of four million. That's the biggest one. I guess it's California. It's probably not Canada, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I surprise myself sometimes. <laughs> yes. Oh man. <clears throat> Sorry. San Bernardino. <laughs> Number two was Las Vegas, Nevada. This must be an old list. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Lies. <laughs> Austin, trust anything you're saying. Also, it was three. Four was v- Virginia Beach, like the Drake song. Virginia Beach. I guess that's a place in Virginia. A beach in Virginia. And then uh, Providence, Rhode Island, Louisville, Kentucky, Richmond, Virginia, Hartford, Connecticut. Those are largest metro areas without major sports teams. I don't know when that list came out, but. Hmm. Vegas definitely got one. Nine years ago, so never oh. mind. Things change a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that the number one? Fucking... Why is Google <laughs> populating that to the top? Maybe they don't it's want just nine years old, dog. Come on now. <laughs> okay, since we're talking about this. Who creates Google? Or, you know, Google's just like a company. It's crazy because we're like almost 
Number one is Austin on this list. Sorry. I'm just getting excited <laughs> right now. Go okay. On. Yeah. It was a different list. This one was 50, and it, it definitely had Richmond, Virginia at like 49 instead of number eight. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Number one was Austin. Number two was El Paso. Damn, son. <laughs> Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Tucson, Arizona, Fresno, California, Arizona again, Long Beach, California, Colorado Springs, Colorado, and number 10, Virginia Beach. Omaha, Nebraska, shout out, number 11. <laughs> Omaha, Omaha. Omaha. Please go on, so I put the list down. I forgot what I was talking about. We were talking about. It'll come back. It'll come back. It always does. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got excited. You forgot what we were talking. Austin getting a ton of play in the meta. Austin getting play in the meta. Sports teams, demographics. What drives a sports team to be successful? Mm -hmm. Nine years ago, who populates Google? Yeah, (laughs) we're living our life like almost based on Google to a a large degree. We're all just googling shit. It's like we're all just going to the. Let's go to the information source. We're all just going to the information source to verify information that we're like kind of living on. And it's like, well, what if that information source is tainted, or you know, hmm. it's like why is Google why, why is Google populating that nine year old shish? I guess what, what started it at all. But then yeah, just kind of branching off. It, it, you have a presupposition to think me personally. That's the best information, right? You're like, well, that's the best. That's the best website. That wasn't the best website. It was nine years old. <laughs> what the fuck? Imagine if you googled anything and it brought you up the nine year old version of that information, mm-hmm. or something that was bullshit. Yeah, yeah. That's a whole other human thing that Dude, we're all doing here. You want to know what the future is? Done with the internet. Yes. What? I- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm done with Google. Like, okay, I'm okay. using it right You're now. Done with Google. It's in the end phase for me because what I'm it's up- phasing out, guys. <laughs> We're phasing out of the Google days because it's about to be the Chat GPT days. It's about to be AI days. And you just but where's AI getting its information from? Google. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine it's like 30- all the all the search all the search engines, right? And right? for whatever reason, you think it's being honest to you. Because yeah, you're like, hopefully it is. <laughs> tell me, damn it. It's like, <laughs> the same thing. It's supposed to be the smartest thing out there. Yeah. It's programmed to be. Right. I like, think my dad doesn't really use Google anymore because you just have like a chat GPT window open and you can just like, to your little AI and then you can come back to what you're doing. I guess you could still Google stuff, yeah, chat GPT. but it's not like. I think chat GPT is just like super Google. Right. It just Googles everything and like. Goes through all the information and then takes out and extracts the meat and potatoes. The common meat and potatoes amongst all the sheesh, right? Yeah. 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 What other kind of algorithm would you would you write for like AI? How would you create something know. that can know all the things or help you learn all the things? It's like Google and Chat Google and Wolfram Alpha had a super genius baby. <laughs> just, what was it? What was the thing? Google and what? <laughs> Wolfram Alpha. What's that? Wolfram Alpha. <clears throat> it's like a website that you can use. Mm-hmm. And and I found it because you can use it to do calculus problems. Mm-hmm. Like you can type in, and they have like buttons and stuff for you to type in your calculus problems, and it always has the answer. Like always finds the answer to like a scary degree, and then you can like type in the problem like it's a word problem, and it, it'll like find a way to like translate the word problem into whatever the fuck it knows and then it like does the answer Hmm. and it's like was crazy to me how versatile it was and how i could kind of loosely just be like typing in calculus stuff and it would like work it out itself you know what i'm saying this is in high school this was in yeah i guess i was 18 college this this has been around for like 10 years but yeah, if you ever have like a calculus class, Wolfram just, Alpha. you can't really like, <laughs> I wouldn't like cheat per se, but you could just like homework directly into Wolfram Alpha. <laughs> it would just give you the answer and you could just go back to homework. Question correct. Got it, it would be awesome. But uh, crazy. you won't learn calculus like that, but you couldn't like Google that. I couldn't Google any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like there was no, I couldn't use a regular calculus, like, calcul- like I couldn't just like bloop, bloop, like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Four of times course. 30 is easy to, like, you, you cheat with the calculator on those kinds of math problems. But there's math problems that you cannot cheat with a calculator. Like, you need the calculator as a tool to do the math problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Not that I need a cheat per se, but I'm just saying like obtain answer. Mm. In high school, that's shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you gotta do. Either way, AI is crazy because Chat ChatGPT is like super Google mixed with this crazy super intelligence. Yeah, that's trying to. I guess because I guess you would program it to be right. You know, what I'm saying it's not trying to give you a, a wrong information. I guess if, whenever you in the testing phases, I guess that's kind of what you're doing. You're creating an algorithm of what this AI, how this AI is going to search for this information or how it's going to produce this information, I guess. Whenever you type something into it, how it's going to respond finally after it processes. And in that processing, you're like creating the algorithm and like testing it. And then it spits something out and then you got to see what it spit out and then try to reverse engineer or like see the, I guess, the effectiveness of the algorithm and then just kind of continually tweak it and tweak it and tweak it. But now I guess ChatGPT and AI is to a point to where they've done that for such a long enough time to where long enough time is such a short, short amount of time relatively over the last couple years, year or two. Like when that fucking Drake AI song came out and then versus COVID. It's like COVID, how many people were talking about ChatGPT or AI? No, we were talking about COVID. nobody. Yeah. <laughs> Zero people. Yeah, no one was talking about that shit. So four years ago, it's completely irrelevant to the mass, mass majority of the population. And now we've been introduced to it, and now it's like already excelling at a crazy rate. From the Drake AI song that came out to the AI, sh- I saw something on Instagram about an AI thing. I think it's called the simulation or the simulator or something like that. But it was this program that someone, like AI program that someone made that was able to recreate like entire episodes of South Park, like scripted, the scenes play out, you like can choose the characters or it'll just kind of populate its own characters or whatever may happen. It's just like a, I don't know, I need to check it out myself to like get my hands on it to see really what it's about and see how really crazy it is. But apparently from this little infomercial I saw, it's like super hands off just type something in and it creates an entire episode of South Park but like South Park is like not like the <clears throat> end all be all goal you know what I'm saying South Park was just like an example I think that of what the creator wanted to use to show like what the software could do or like the program could do the yeah. AI the technology was it funny I feel like I that's know. the that's the other thing yeah I don't, I don't, I don't know how People are going to lose jobs like that. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. Uh, that's I a think it's, crazy... I think it's called a simulator or the simulation or something like that. That's tight. I'm, I'm looking up so I can get a true shit out to it, but I remember just seeing that infomercial, the, the, the Instagram post and just tripping. Being able to like, cuss... <laughs> <laughs> like, Let's do what? You, you, what? I'm going to direct my own South Park episode. What, mm-hmm. if I, what if I make a better one? Like, what if there's some really great ones? Isn't that better? It's like free source code for South Park. Mm-hmm. Something to think about. <laughs> they could just use it. Yeah, but ChatGPT is nuts. Like, you're gonna have to do so much legwork for you, and not even just like writing. I think a lot of people use it for like, you know, write me a paragraph on this, or like mm-hmm. when people use it to for its writing styles, it kind of trips me out because sometimes people want like a script for I don't even know, dude. Like. People be like, give me a script for a cold call. Be like, give me a script for a cold call for a 50-year-old white male. Selling whatever it is. Selling solar. Yeah. Yeah, boom. <laughs> yeah. Okay, give me a script for a 50-year-old white male living in Austin, Texas. You are now solar salesman GPT. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then you can just like take, you know, you don't have to, I would never use something verbatim. I've, n- I've never even done anything like that in chat GPT. I've just seen like other people do it. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to get that iPhone. It's Christ. Like, it, it's like $20 a month. And it can do anything. Like, you can be like, draw me or... Make- like the, yeah, like the, the pay for, the paid for version of chat GPT. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue, sorry. No, no worries. Um, You can be like, make me a Instagram post of uh, a rocket ship with my brand MJ38 on it. I'd be like, make, you, make, it, make it more futuristic and more sleek. Be like, mm, make it, uh, you know, whatever the fuck. Make it red. I want, <laughs> I want like a red and black theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, okay, throw some Chicago Bulls stuff on there. Okay, all right, bet. And then just like take that and then you could just use that. I think you should just use that as a cover art. I don't even know if that stuff's like licensed. You know what I'm saying? Or if it's... Didn't, didn't I just make that with yeah. the tool? You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's all you, babe. Right? 
I think you can make that argument somewhere. With all your words. So like, uh, that's crazy. That's so much legwork. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it'll, it'll do yeah. so much legwork for you. It's crazy. It's crazy. Everyone's using AI. Yeah. Now, at least in some capacity, we're definitely using it for the pod. It helps tremendously. Yeah. I'm it saves sure. so much time. Oh yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I mean, you're, we're early adopters. And it's early. Yeah, yeah. It's mm. it's like still like it's all getting better slowly and slowly. Everything's getting better about it. It's the wild west of the AI actually, because like <clears> if you <throat> could find a way for AI, <laughs> gunslinger. <laughs> you found a way to integrate AI into your process. Mm. And if you can find that, you'll save yourself a fuck ton of legwork. But they're not just like teaching you how to. Like a lot of mm. people they're like, I don't I don't know what I'd use AI for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But like Siri is even it, to like to a degree, I'm like I'm still like at that in that stage as well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though I'm using it in some areas. In other areas I'm just like I'm we I was living our lives, you know what I'm saying? But I'm sure there are people who are just like fucking going ham with this shit on the forefront of the exploration. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The innovators. <laughs> Joe Rogan talks to someone on his pod. Talk to some of those motherfuckers. The AI innovators? <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Who knows what's going to happen? It always feels like technology is like right there. Like we're almost there. We've almost got it. We've almost got it figured out. For the last like thirty years, I feel like we've been like, we're gonna we're, next year we'll have a hoverboard. Yeah, we'll have the the flying cars soon enough. We'll be living like the Jessens, living like the Jessens, futuristic. I've, I've always had this fucking presupposition that like we'll never really get there. Yeah, <laughs> it's, that's the lie of technology. It's Maybe like, <laughs> things have been getting better incrementally. Yes, bitch. Sorry, <laughs> just a pink <pigment> moment. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Okay, making adjustments on the fly. Omaha, that's my guy. <laughs> and a ball. And a ball. Okay, yeah. Get so that's the thing about fucking technology is we're always like right there. When they when they got the iPad iPod to be a phone, that was kind of a moment where you're like, oh. <laughs> Technology's doing it. <laughs> We're finally getting there. It's crazy. Oh, um, yeah, we got virtual reality now and AI. And virtual reality is another one of those okay. things. It's like it's almost okay. there. Virtual okay. reality is almost up. We're not quite there. It's but almost insane. Computer games are pretty fucking insane now. They're mm-hmm. pretty much got there with those. The console games, computer games, going pretty hard. Yeah, I don't know. Technology. We're just living our lives, though. You know, populates Google. It's fucking money, dude. Which is crazy, Ads. right? Yeah. Like you can pay to be the top search on Google. Not like forever, because it costs a lot of money. I'm sure, yeah. It's just yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure you could. And I'm sure you could break someone's kneecaps. If you're not at the top of Google, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Every day of my life, just a, I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, but just, not this time. Just like, the incredi- <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just like an incredibly human nature to Google because it's all run by people. We're all just um, people. Yeah. You know, and people can be persuaded to. <laughs> That's to, the loss to, of a kneecap. <laughs> Definitely. You know? Definitely. Yeah, I uh, I guess Google needs to like be right sometimes or give good answers because otherwise we'd stop using it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's kind of like it's um, like selfish reasoning to give a good website to you. Yeah, to give out the correct information. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Dude, Austin Dex is on top of those lists. ATX, baby. Well, they don't have a basketball team or a football team or a baseball team. Mm-mm. They just got UT, baby. And the Matthew horns. McConaughey. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey riding the long horn. <laughs> That's all they got. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so funny. Bro. That's okay. Yeah, man. San Antonio's got the Spurs. Fucking love the Spurs out here. People love the Spurs out here. Yeah, it's like the glo- like the gl- the good old days, the glory days. It's like, man, we went on a run. <laughs> we went on a motherfucking run, man. 
I bet it was awesome. <laughs> I bet it was incredible <laughs> to live in the city during the run. During like the decade long run. That was probably pretty cool. Winning chips every other year or so. Always in contention. Damn. Balling. Is San, Antonio, is San Antonio out of their glory days? They haven't really made too much noise since Kawhi left, you know? Ugh. They won. <laughs> is Popovich still the coach? Yeah. I'm so sorry. No. I, I just lost five fans. I'm so sorry. It was a rhetorical question. Like, I know, like, I knew, but I wasn't sure. He'll always be the coach. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> that's, a, that's a rhetorical question. <laughs> but, but at the same time. Leads me to my next question. <laughs> yes. Uh, how do you replace that guy? That's yeah. I don't know. Not only like talent wise, but like no one's gonna take it well. The spirit. I think he'll still be on the bench. You know, time to time. Even when he retires, I don't know. We'll see. That era of basketball, that era of like sportsmanship, is almost dead. Like. He, this man is going to coach to his elderly years and then sit on the bench for this team and just be just a spur. Just a spur, bro. <laughs> just a spur. Like, man, the dude. Spur. The backbone. Like, the even, to, even Tom Brady went to the Bucks. Gets mm-hmm. that, like, uh, dynasty loyalty. Which brings me back to, man, fucking football owners. Dude, the, mm. the owners of the football team, they 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 have such a crazy thing going on. Where they're like, like the league, like, I don't know, man. Whenever they say like the league banned this guy for like doing this thing, like when Calvin Ridley got banned. Mm. For like For gambling? Yeah. The, when they said the league, it was like, the, the league is like 32 guys where all the owners of the businesses sit in a room and like decide what they should do for the best thing for their league so they can keep making billions of dollars. And they put Goodell as the face. Yeah. <laughs> you're the commish. Yeah, well, you're going to... You're, you're the... When we're the league, right, you go out there and you be all 32, a representation of the league, but really it's us. It, yeah. And they're like families. It's people. Just people, bro. People. Like, With whoa. kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Easily Everyone's got kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, bro. You're right, bro. And ultimately, if someone runs up on you and they're like, I'm persuading you right now. <laughs> like, Are you persuaded? <laughs> Are you persuaded now? <laughs> How about now? <laughs> because, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, if someone tries to sell me a used car. They're also trying to persuade me, but I can say I can I can elude it. I can evade the persuasion. Mm-hmm. Not, just not, block that shit. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a like a hard foul. You know what I'm saying? Or you're just like, nope. Like, just get that shit out of here. <laughs> no, not my pain, brother. <laughs> no pleasantries. No, no finesse. <laughs> Just a fucking foul. Sir, can I tell you about my small business? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Not interested Not in your interested. small business. Please. Please. I can't do it with you. I can't do it with you. Yeah, you can evade that, that persuasion for sure. But mm. if someone... What did that... <laughs> did I tell you about my small business? Um, it's a nice looking kneecaps you got there. I like how they're all functioning and shit. <laughs> Be a shame. Something happened to them. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, uh, I mean, I think I think that's why we love. Mo- I think that's why we like. I was thinking about that about movies because, like, uh, I'm watching this TV show. That shit's real. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> the, the spirit of that. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like the mob or the mafia or the cartel. <sighs> mm. They like kind of live on that, you know, to a degree. Like Ozarks and shit, shit's crazy. That being that being what exactly? What we want is what we want to happen yeah, is dude. gonna happen, bitch. The persuasion, yeah. Nice looking kneecaps you got there. Yeah. And you look over there, they're wearing knee pads. And you're just like, oh, what the why fuck? You, why are you wearing knee pads? <laughs> Strike your kick to the face. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching Mr. Robot last Let's night. Play a different game. And it's Let's about play a different um, game here. Part of the motifs is like the wealthy elite, like the super ultra elite, like the people mm-hmm. that got Donald Trump to run for president. It's like one of the one what? of the, yeah. It's like a he was a guy from Asia. He's like a Chinese guy, in mm-hmm. the sense where like uh, China. <laughs> 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 Go on. He's a Chinese guy. <laughs> In the sense of like what? <laughs> He's from China. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, great call. No, what I'm trying to say though is that he works for the Chinese government of some kind. Like Wait, Chinese? Yeah. He works in the government. No, but oh. no, he's like a... He controls shit, though. Yeah, he's like in the wealthy elite. So there's like... Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. So he's like like a Rockefeller kind of esque type family or whatever the those those family family names are. Yeah, like a string string puller of the countries. Hi, yeah, yeah, type yeah, shit. yeah. Okay. And then he's working with one of the guys in America who's like the CFO of Microsoft, basically. And then Bill Gates company. Yeah. Kind of, kind of like that. Okay. And then this Microsoft is like the bad guys in this show. And then this Chinese government sometimes are the good guys for this rebellion unit. Cause it's like, yeah, that's a weird perspective on America. Right. So mm-hmm. then like, yeah, this, this Chinese guy like says that he's going to try to get Donald Trump put up for election in the United States. And then through like political money and like connections and, they're like mob and mafia that they have all the way through all the things they like mm-hmm. fucking make these things happen and this then, is mr robot yeah okay, okay right. and then at one point he's just like uh if you pull the right string you'll, it'll make a puppet dance however you want and basically they just like blackmail people with with money and persuasion and if like someone comes Knee up to cabin. you with a gun, yeah or like a fucking baseball bat to your kneecaps <laughs> louis the slugger Oh Christ! Yeah, yeah. People live on that in that energy or in that reality. It's like shit. You gotta be careful. They know they're always strapped. You know. Yeah, what they want to happen is like uh, their life depends on it. Mm-hmm. They they need the power. You get you cross a threshold where like you need the P. You need <laughs> trillions of power because if you if you can't move the gears of what you're doing and you're a really high level up person, it's like. Imagine being like a top five quarterback. Like you can't go very many seasons not being at the top of the league. It's like they paid you that much money. So Gotta get bucks. Expectations are higher than like someone's not making a lot of money. You know. Hmm. So yeah, those people that are kneecapping other people, they almost have no choice in their own mind. You know. Yeah, it's part of their part of the lifestyle. It's crazy. Part of the. Uh... Uh, dude, we, that reminds me, we watched fucking, have you seen, I'm not sure if it's still on Netflix, but we watched uh, Griselda. It's a, I saw it on like the top. Six episodes, like a kind of short, mini, not maybe not, like an hour or so maybe each episode. Mm-hmm. Good amount of time, but it was solid. I'm not sure if it's still on Netflix, but it was just about this uh, this lady, like during the, co- like the uh, <clears throat> Pablo Escobar times, living in Miami. Like becoming like the drug lord of Miami, more or less, in regards to the cocaine game, going off. It was crazy. It was good. That's nuts. Worth the watch. Worth the watch. It was tight. It's like the whole time you're you're watching. I guess at least in the first couple episodes, you're just like, well, now how's she gonna sell a coke? <laughs> okay, that's, there we go. There we go. That's the comment. Well, now how's she gonna sell a coke? <laughs> it's a whole bunch of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's interesting. <laughs> In the sense that she's what? <laughs> so like, oh, as you think you said. In the sense that he's Chinese? <laughs> In the sense that he's from China? <laughs> so funny, bro. <laughs> Griselda, was it good, though? Yeah, it was good. I thought it was good. It was, it was tight. It was maybe like six episodes long, but... Maybe like, I don't know, somewhere <laughs> around there. But it was tight. It was crazy. 
That's cool. Crazy ass life. A few people told but me. But yeah, that living in that fucking in that zone, bro. Of like, there's one part I was gonna spoil it for you, but there's just like a a guy. It happens like in the, maybe like the last episode or towards towards the end of the series. But more or less, Griselda, fucking kingpin, queenpin, going ham, has like crazy loyalty amongst like her her people or from her people, like her inner circle and shit. Just like murder gang shit, slaughter gang shit, what? A lot of that going on. She had one days. of these motherfuckers go in and kill somebody in like the airport. Like the fucking airport. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With the machete. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was like trying to like chop his head off. Damn. It was uh, in an airport. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to... The, the quote unquote good guys don't play by those rules, bro. Like it's your like, average ordinary gee, citizen. Nah. <laughs> who's playing by those rules? It's not GTA out that's here. That's a different rule. <laughs> yeah. That's straight up San Andreas <laughs> shit. It's GTA 4, 5, and 6. Yeah, dude. Crikey. <laughs> <laughs> so no, like that's the thing with these people. Like, if there is a wealthy elite, like if there is people really trying to manipulate or break kneecaps, it's like ultimately you're not on kneecap guard all the time. You're just like walking. Just doing what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? I don't uh it sucks to have to have a really high defense just in regular life, you know? Yeah, so always be looking over your shoulder or always be kinda Anticipating, right? Someone making a move on you or whatever. That's not a fun existence. That's a lot. It's a lot to bear. Fuck that. Crazy story though. Yeah. <laughs> Living in that type of realm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that might just be what, like, sometimes you watch a movie and you're based on a true story. I'm oh, sorry. You could continue. Like in the movie, you would never like you know. Uh, like, you normally would never have to knee go and be the one kneecapping somebody. But if something were to happen, something so crazy and dramatic to make you, like, change your perspective enough to make you maybe, like, put yourself in that position. I think that's why we like movies so much is because, like, there's not that much actual danger out there, maybe. In some places, there definitely are. But for the most part, like, our our ability to be, like, uh, like, aroused by danger or, like, to have to be, like, oh, man, I'd be fucking, I'd be Busting up kneecaps, but I had to be <laughs> kneecapping. <laughs> like the part of you that there's some. Call me the great Bambino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, uh, I think that's why we like the horror, not horror movies, but the suspense thrillers or like the mm -hmm. the shit that's kind of like, oh shit, that's like fucked up. That's fucked up. I would fuck them up if that <laughs> fucked up stuff happened to me. Like, I think, I don't know. But there's, because life is not that. I guess the presupposition is, like, life isn't that scary naturally. Like, we don't really have to worry about that stuff very often. So that's why we like the fantasy of a movie putting us in that position. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was, just, I was just thinking about that. I don't know if that's true or not. Some people are in danger. Some people do have, like... <laughs> yeah, I guess it depends on your lifestyle or, like, where you're, what you're doing, what you're choosing to spend your energy on. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess for the most part, from, like, day to day... Like, yeah, I guess movies are just more or less like simulation, not simulations, but kind of like uh, just really condensed versions, dramatizations, but condensed down. So they are like, so yes, it's entertainment, but it's, yeah, it is weird that we have within the realm of entertainment, watching movies and types of plays or whatever the hell you're watching, entertaining yourself with. It's like we have all these different categories. It's like comedy to like horror and like suspense or drama. Or whatever it is, however you like your stories. Everyone has their own kind of like draw to stories, what kind of stories you like. Because I don't really like like scary movies. They're like, I don't know. I'm not I'm not really drawn to them. But I know like that's a whole category of movie that has an entire demographic behind it. Like horror movies, scary movies. But I guess, yeah, more like, like Jason or like Friday the 13th. I guess Friday the, thir the 13th is Jason, <laughs> right? I don't yeah. know. And no, then I think, I don't know. Elm Street, Freddy, all that, all that kind mm -hmm. of shit. The horror, the and then now it's gotten crazy. There's like a whole bunch of different crazy movies now. Horror movies, like haunted movies, like possession movies, demon movies, all that kind of shit. You know, <laughs> it's a whole different subcategory, subgenre within the horror movie genre. Yeah, I'm not really drawn to it too much either. Nah. I've digested like 
in my day to day, it's not really scary like that. But yeah, I think I, I guess there, I see why I see hundred percent what you're saying. That is coming from that realm, you know, it's not like that all the time or very, very often. Right. So whenever we can entertain ourselves, I guess everyone entertains themselves with something different. If you have that free time, if you have that leisure time. That's true. Some TV, people don't TV watch. shows are drawing. Some people don't watch shit. <laughs> that is true. I used to not have a TV for a while. I, I in could my see apartment. That. It is doable. I was listening to a podcast like the first like hour and a half I was home last night, you know, and I could have just kept listening to the podcast when my phone died and I was like, all right, let me watch a couple episodes of Mr. Robot. That shit was banging. That shit was so good. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> How far are you now? Um, season three. Oh like shit! Like halfway it's through still. season three. It's popping still. It's crazy, bro. It's just so crazy. This guy's like you know, like a hacker, right? Which is like a weird motif stereotype for a character. But like, it's just crazy how much computers can do. You can like get into anything, dude. It's really nuts. And then there's this like underground. They call them like the dark army. And they're like a hacker unit, like like gang, like mm, uh, like the dark deep web, dark web. Yeah, they're like yeah, like a dark web gang called the Dark Army, and they they're really like a group of like uh, Chinese, like more or less terrorists, or like they're supplanting themselves into American culture and using like Americans to create this like plot to like um, they live in the Ameri- united states so they travel back and forth but there uh, is like a, a presence in the united states in new york oh sons of bitches yeah it's crazy <laughs> and then at first you just think they're like because you're watching like the american people and you think it's just like uh another outfit of hackers that they're like trying to get help from but then you slowly realize that they're not just another outfit of hackers like they're like a band of like six or seven friends with this backstory and like they're all doing it for these right reasons. And then there's just like other people on the dark web. And then it turns out that it's not just another ne- gang of hackers. It's like a, like a, a group of Chinese. I don't, I don't know what you'd call it. Like infiltrators more or less wreaking havoc on the, I mean, it's just crazy, bro. There's like a riot at the head Microsoft company headquarters. Mm-hmm. And then like that riot, like in that riot, they're like, using it as an excuse to hack into their, like, something that would normally be impossible to get into during, like, regular hours. Mm-hmm. And it's just, like, how I don't know how much of that goes on, per se, but it's, like... Like, a calculated... Not attacks, but something like that. Yeah, like, you read this in the news. Calculated moves. But, like, everything we're reading in the news and everything they're talking about was actually so that this thing could happen right here. Mm-hmm. And, like, only some people know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all a plan. There's a plan going on. It's crazy. The show's so well written. I'm just like, it's nuts. It's nuts. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about that. That's what's up. I think, I, I think some of the creatives, some of the people who are making the movies and the shows and, like, the Netflix series and that kind of stuff, I think some of them are super aware and i think uh there is a that like that the, the war going on you know i think they're, they're trying to maybe bring maybe not awareness but maybe start implanting it within our narrative of the possibility of like these kinds of things like happening it's like oh this is a maybe not like a, a shout out or like a subliminal message but you know what i'm saying i think propaganda works propaganda is just a uh, subliminal messaging and his propaganda has a connotation of like a controlled narrative pushed, but it's just like a subliminal message. So I think everyone can like put propaganda in whatever their brand is or whatever they're promoting or whatever their expression is. Everything has a subliminal message to it to mm-hmm. a degree. I think, you know, whether you know it or not, I think and sometimes whenever you know it and you're able to manipulate it or not manipulate it, but dress it and make it beautiful and make it pretty it's like oh that's, that's art you know true so i think some people who are making the art making the shows are trying to tell us tell society it's like hey, all right man shit shit's shit's kind of crazy y'all like we be be open for this for that eclipse that's coming big eclipse war's about to break out <laughs>
<laughs> you heard it here first. You heard it here first, y'all. Get your fucking hard hats. <laughs> Get your straps and your hard hats. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if literal war will break out, but war's going on every day. There's war going on inside you right now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's no telling what kind of war an eclipse could bring, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that show's crazy. That's tight. I remember yeah, watching it a little really cool. bit. It's really cool how it, it just really plays on the motif of like uh, the tech company is becoming so rich and powerful that they everyone works for these billion dollar companies and that our society is like, uh, like nobody, the, the dollars don't have like as much value as they used to have. And um, man, it's just like real hippie talk. It's like we. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Like the a lot of the early motifs of why they want to take down Evil Corp, which uh-huh. is like Microsoft, and it's just because like uh, like nothing is real anymore. Like our money is just not real, and our experiences and our um, profiles and our like uh, friendships and everything's like not real anymore. It's like synthetic, and it's mm-hmm. we're living in this like um, technologically like in overly influenced world. Like the news isn't real. Like all this shit, it's like fake, 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 fake. Like the stuff you eat, like the food you eat, it's not real. It's like, um, that's why they want to kind of crash it and like send everything back to a more like 1950s, 1960s-esque era. A simpler time. A, simpl- <laughs> a better time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah but we'd have to like rely on some farmers. I don't fucking know. I don't know what their big plan was, but more or less to stick it to the the problem the man yeah <laughs> stick it to the man yeah which is like you know who doesn't want to stick it to the man you yeah know? <clears throat> but unless you are the man yeah who are you sticking it to <laughs> <laughs> stick it to the people <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so yeah. yeah they play on the motifs of like these rich billionaires and how they don't give a fuck about people people and how they're just you know one two or three little decisions phone calls all of a sudden china annexes the congo changes the world yeah it's cool the cabal or whatever it's crazy who is controlling this shit <sighs> yeah like who has donald trump to run for president there's probably a person out there they had that in the show yeah I had Donald Trump going for president in the show. Like this is it gets nuts. It's like so eerie how like real life satirical it seems, but yeah, it's like a news that they're like this this guy's like sitting on his outside couch in his mansion and he's watching Donald Trump just like talk about whatever the hell he's talking about and he's like I think uh, I think this guy could is a perfect guy for us to put in president. And they're like, <laughs> You can never control him and then he's just like if you pull the right strings, a puppet'll dance however you want it to. And then, like, to like maybe next episode at some point, it's like Donald Trump at like a rally, and then it's like the plan is like unfolding, and uh, it's like crazy, bro. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about none of it. There, don't tell it. There are people who devote their whole lives to like the political sciences, you know. They're right, and I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. About what people think they think. What what you have them feeling right now about <laughs> stuff that doesn't matter or exists. No, I don't fucking care about that. You can, miss me, you can miss me with that bullshit. Politics, politics was different. It was like, how do you feel about the Second Amendment, son? <laughs> Bearing arms? Yeah. I fucking love my bear arms. <laughs> Good. Grr, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no but that was like a thing in high school like you know mm-hmm. abortion and immigration and like conservative views on money versus like more liberal for programs and stuff like that like how much money poor people should be getting and stuff like that mm-hmm. those were all like it seemed like important issues that like in the 80s and 90s we were like really fighting for that stuff you know then somewhere in there things got kind of like out of hand you know and now we're just living in like 1984 so people that's what mr robot has me thinking (laughs) i don't know if you can trust fox news or cnn but i think we all kind of know you can't i think everyone's kind of in that common agreement that nah man the news is kind of bullshit everyone 
The majority of people think that. What? I think. Right. Yeah. Unless I'm tripping. I, no, I think you're probably right. Mm-hmm. You got to be kind of deluded to still be watching. If, if you're watching the news at this point, then you know, like, it's not like taking the whole it for story. a hundred. Yeah, yeah. 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 If you're watching the news thinking that it's 100% accurate information, exactly the way they're portraying it. You're a buffoon. Yeah. <laughs> I think we know that now. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like. I don't think anyone's watching it with that. Okay. Maybe some a small percentage of people so still do watch it, maybe with that behind or like that. Not intention, but that presupposition. The, the olds. Yeah. <laughs> the baby boomers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how, what, 10% of people? Who knows? 10% of TV watchers in America. Yeah, who's even watching? I don't know. You know, either way, get the news online. Or just from the sources, any of the news sources. Come on, people. The news is so crazy because, like, what the fuck could you do about it anyways? Like, if a fucking building in new york blew up <laughs> that's like one of the plots on mr robot at one point but mm-hmm. building in new york blows up and i'm here in fucking san antonio and there's no news i would never fucking know there's nothing i do about it <laughs> right? like that bridge getting hit in, in uh brooklyn or not brooklyn baltimore yeah what i heard i saw that like twice on social media and i don't even know what they're talking about what, what no happened idea. i don't really know this entirely but all i the, i guess the the facts that i have been told of the story is that there was a some sort of big, like a ship, like a containing, like a cruise, not a cruiser ship, but like a, a cargo ship, more or less, carrying a whole bunch of shit on it. And then it got too foggy or there was poor vision conditions. Okay. And they ran into this bridge in okay. Baltimore. And it collapsed that bitch. Uh-huh. I don't know. That's all I know. That's all I think I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I've been told. I saw that there were some, some conspiracies about it. I've heard that as well. Okay, so so this is what I'm saying is that like, I, if the news... What were you carrying, Boat? What were you carrying? Sorry, continue. <laughs> He's asking the real questions. They're going to... We're, we're, we're here for the real questions, but... I'll get you answers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your news. I am the news. <laughs> I'm the fan news. <laughs> I'm on the truth. No, bro, but mm. yeah, dude, the news is just this like light fucking salting on the dish. Like just, we'll just tell everybody what's going on. We'll tell them we've got it all under control and they can relax and sit on their couch and be okay. Because it's like, ultimately I couldn't do anything anyway. What am I Get up and drive to Baltimore. What happened here? <laughs> <laughs> so I brought my hard hat and my steel toes. I'm ready to get to work. Rebuild this bridge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like that that's a fucking crazy way to live. <laughs> like, if you were to go investigate every piece of news yourself that you found, you couldn't live like that. Some people try, or some people kind of do. Journalists and whatever the fuck it's called. For sure. There's definitely people that now you can just get on Google and investigate everything. So there's mm. more. But, like, the average person, they're not fucking... It's hard to have them... I can't be really too affected by something that happens in New York. Like, the Twin Towers fell. I was pretty affected. Like, still, what am I going to do here? Like, you're very limited in your actual action base and what you can do. You're definitely going to give a minute of silence. As you yeah. recite the Pledge of Allegiance. That's definitely what you're going to do, son. Yeah, I guess that's why people protest and riot. They're like, no, we can come together. We can fucking mm. get big. We can fucking <laughs> we can get big. We can be huge if we're together. <laughs> and like, I think there's something to that for sure. But Tower yeah, our numbers. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, we're, there's what no, are we going to do? Yeah. What are we going to do? Not a lot of people really are trying to ride over everything, and they can just cover it up so easily with the news and. Create the narrative. Everything's fine. <laughs> what a crazy invention. Bust some kneecaps of people who are getting a little too loud. <laughs> yeah. I was one certain kneecaps. Bust. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, that's why I'm saying we need ARs on the walls, bro. Like, we need to go fucking... That expression came from, like... <laughs> I was trying to get a yeah. compound. Okay. In fucking, you know, maybe Wyoming. And... Mm-hmm. You know, own 50 acres and live in the middle of it and have, you know. Come and take it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. We're having a last fucking stand in, in this bitch. Fuck yeah, if it goes out like that, I'm fucking not. I don't want to be walking into my apartment and I just freaking 
boom, there goes the kneecap. <laughs> I can't defend myself at all. I mean, granted, <laughs> if anybody really wants to get you, they'll get you. But... <laughs> the kneecap. <laughs> Not if you got security. Yeah, right. You're living on some land. Like Tesla, how many? I wonder if they're trying to get him. Yeah, Elon. He's got to have some security. Nikolai Tesla, I wonder if they were trying to get him. You know? <laughs> they got, I think they got him. <laughs> I don't think he had enough security. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, though, man. Like, this malicious agent force is so scary. Because, mm-hmm. like, he's trying to figure out physics. You know, Tesla's trying to build cars. These people are trying to run the country. It's like, these guys are going this way, and these guys are just like, poof, can just, like, come in sideways to take what they want. Mm. Which is kind of why a hacker is, like, the perfect person to, like, fuck with them because it's, like, that's, that's, the internet's like this, and hackers are doing the same thing. They're like coming in from the side and manipulating what is supposed to be whatever the fuck they designed it to be. But then they take whatever they want from it and then use it how they. Yeah, it's like it's like the, the yeah. I guess the, I like what you just said in, in regards to like that that being kind of a mirror of like the super elite being able to do that, like kind of take what they want out of like tangible reality through whatever it means they're doing, uh-huh. busting kneecaps, but then also. Like the internet is kind of like its own tangible, intangible reality. Yeah. <laughs> and the hackers able to do the same thing with this version of reality. Yeah, take what they want. That's integrated into reality, reality now. Crazy, at right? At such high level. Like te- technology is like inextricably connected to us now. Like so everyone has a fucking phone or a tablet. Kids are getting them at ages of two, three. Yeah. Like in 10, 20 years, like all these, every kid will have grown up with an iPad or some sort of tablet. The, the majority of children. And some sort of device within their home, whether it's their parents' phones or, their, or whatever, access to a phone or access to the infinite amount of information we have at our disposal their it's entire a, life. It's absurd. We're going to see what the fuck that, that produces. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's cool. Well, too much. Of, I don't even know how we'd use it all. All that shit's online. or Everything's online now. Or like as far as like our bank information. Oh, yeah. That's our what... identities. If you are could really hack, like if you could really get into like anything on a computer, like you just know how to go through all the code and find your way to get through the systems to get where you're gonna go. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you would think it'd be like that, but I guess if you, my dad said it's like really uh, all of the stuff he's doing is like what it would look like for real. So it's like he you opens seen up, it too? yeah, he's the one that put me onto it. Does he fuck with it? Super heavy, yeah, ultra heavy. <laughs> And then, yeah, he puts up, like, the command prompt, like, the little black window, and you start, like, typing lines of shit, and it's like, bloop, 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 and just maneuvering through the thing. And he's like, bloop. And, like, the ways that they get onto the dark web and the ways that they get into their, like, different operating systems and shit, it's fucking cool. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. But then you realize that these people are fucking super here. They know a fucking, like... A different a, language. Yeah. A genius language that mm-hmm. all of our shit is written in. I don't know shit about what makes that Mac work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't, I don't know the inner workings of like any of the technology. No computers, but it's so vulnerable they could just come into our phones and take all of our shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all of our shit. <laughs> if they really wanted to? Yeah. It just bloop. It'd be gone. Everything. Yeah, that's all your like, accounts are drained. If you have like a fucking house that has like, you know, a smart house. Just bloop, bloop, bloop. Unlock your door. Bloop. See you later, cuz. Like, it's fucking crazy. Yeah. You yeah. can hack into someone's car. A car. Dude, yeah. you, you can do anything. Mm, damn. Yeah, that's crazy. Joe was talking about that in a couple podcasts. Just the ability to kind of like hack into someone's car. We could do it now. Not, it doesn't even have to be like a Tesla necessarily. Just hack into someone's car, yeah, turn it off. Because they have computer chips in them, right? Yeah, or the OnStar or whatever it is. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah technology is crazy. And as we become so reliant on the technology. It's the robot shout out. It's so integrated. Yeah. If you're able to like learn how to like code or like hack computers and shit like that, you'd be on a different that's kinda like what the matrix is, I guess. Because hmm. they're all just like do 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 zero one one zero one. It's just like fucking code in the world. I say ones and zeros. Zeros and ones. Weird state. So yeah, technology's nuts, and the news is nuts, and fucking mm-hmm. Google. Don't, don't know what, Google's nuts. One day you just paid so to be at the of people top. with kneecaps. <laughs> Maybe not you, sir. Everyone's got kneecaps, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> not everybody can walk, but everybody's got kneecaps. 
<laughs> but Google is just run by a whole bunch of those people. So it's very manipulable. Ma- able to be manipulated. Man- manipulatable. Yeah. The more money you have, the more something you have to lose. Like some someone nothing to lose. They're like, go ahead. Take my kneecaps because I got my gels. <laughs> <laughs> if you got the fucking Escalade and you got the fucking two thousand dollar suit on every day and fucking people give you coffee when you walk in the building, you're like, mm. man, I got, I, got, I got a nice life. I sacrificed a lot for this life. <laughs> I don't know what I do if I didn't have this life. But yeah, gotcha. It's nuts, bro. Mm-hmm. The fragility man. of our status. Yeah. Where the hell we get our information from? The controllers of information. I think there's what? Bing? Is that another one? Another search a search engine? Bro, if you use Bing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Ooh, who's on the... Hey, let me hit a bot of Bing real quick. <laughs> Bingo, I got the answer right here. <laughs> I should be a new spokesperson. Like. <laughs> I want to use it. <laughs> So I can say that. Yeah, man. But a bingo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Bro, put us on the fucking Bing. What's up? We'll, we'll make it work. The Bing hoodie. Bing, bro. We'll, we'll keep Google in check. Another day in the Bing. Yeah, keep on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Keep them honest. <laughs> Keeping them honest. The that's, fuck? That's the that's <laughs> Bing. Keeping them honest. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I'm kind of into it now. <laughs> Keep it up, honest. For real. The fuck you looking up, man? Yeah. Just trust Google. That's a crazy power we give them, you know? Yeah. To be the, the gatekeepers to what we consider to be truth. I think that's why we like what? people gatekeepers more. Like, if you know someone that's a foodie and they know all the best restaurants and best places you should eat. You, you probably trust that person's information more than Google's information. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So there's definitely, where do you get your information? If you just use Google or ChatGPT. Mm-hmm. Like, how close is ChatGPT to the truth if you're like, which one of these bands is a better show? Which one? Of, who cooks the best steak? Mm, how yeah. would they ever know? How could it ever be uh, true, true, true to that? Intangible. That's intangible, you know. Damn it, dog. Like that human nature <laughs> or that human touch. I feel like I just cracked the code. Perception, yeah. It's like who's the greatest of all time? <laughs> all it would all it would be able to do is give you stats. Yeah, it's just what's your argument or what's your values? What's missing there? What's missing there? The spirit. <laughs> the spirit the of human debate. spirit. You know who who's the greatest? It's up to whomever can make the best argument. But, like, I don't think ChatGBT can make a convincing argument that makes me feel something, you mm-hmm, know? And that's, mm-hmm. that's the spirit of debate does that. Maybe that's where they're heading with it next. <laughs> they're going to give it spirit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're going to give it heart? ChatGPT spirit. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah, if they could. If they could teach it. How do you, how At do that you point, it would be pre-programmed, though, right? The spirit patch 105? Like... Yeah, the free will spirit patch. <laughs> Uh, no, now we're getting nuts. This is like some depressed <laughs> computers. All of a sudden, like some of the computers don't want to work. You know, they have free will. Yeah. <laughs> don't turn on. Don't do shit. <laughs> it's like, man, that's a that's a crazy concept. Mm. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, how would you cultivate that? I think if you could teach it emotions, mm-hmm. but then it'd have to feel something. It doesn't feel anything. It's fucking data. <laughs> it's fucking wee, 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 little belts ones and circuits. And zeros. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God damn, that's crazy. Just ones and zeros making a whole fucking computer experience. And we greatly helps us, or we use it tremendously. Yeah. Bearing or given that, I guess yeah, because you could we we all use Google. We all use that shit. It, it works. It's 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 pretty good. It's pretty solid. But it can be manipulated and kind of guys. I remember hearing something about that back in the day. I think it was maybe whenever Bernie Sanders was running for president back in that time. Fucking, what is that? 2016, maybe? But 
I think I remember, or maybe it was during the Trump time, 2020. I don't know. Either way, it was during a presidential election year. And I remember hearing something about Google just not populating links that would populate in other search engines. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And displaying certain links based on, like, he would search the same thing, type the same thing into the search bar in two different search engines, and then it would populate. Like there was as a, a consistent type of video or type of link that was taken down. I think it was maybe in regards to Trump or Bernie Sanders or something like that. But, yeah. you know, they could be manipulated. Crazy. For sure. What's well, real, Joe? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. yeah, we're just, the United States is just a game we're living in. <clears throat> it's not like... I mean, I guess you, I guess you vote and shit like that, but ultimately, like whatever's gonna happen is just like happening, and you're just like working a job, making money, trying to have a family, just fucking. Like, your life is kind of outside of that, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For the most part, for most people. Right. Unless yeah. You, yeah. Unless you're in it. Like literally a part of the machine. Yeah. In that motherfucker, trying to run for president. Yeah. I'll be a part of his team. Golly. Why? Why would you do that? Why? <laughs> what pushes you to run for president? To want to? I guess maybe if you genuinely like want to fucking, <laughs> if you want to like try to steer us into a better direction because you genuinely think you can, or you know, it's like okay, hopefully, that, hopefully that person exists out there. Yeah, but maybe maybe motherfuckers are crazy too. They just want control. That's why I want to know their name. Yeah, right. I mean. And they're being string pulled by some fucking Chinese guys. Could be. Could <laughs> fucking be happening. There's no telling what's going on there. How mm. many of these people are fucking corrupt? Where's or, my honest American president? <laughs> so that might be what inspires someone to run for president. But you gotta mm. have so much money and so, you gotta be so connected. Like, I feel like, what's the path? You're like, yeah, I'm going to fucking work in the mayor's office for a long time, and then I'm going to run for, like, senator, and then I've been a senator for a long time, and now I'm going to run for president. Yeah, I guess that's a, right, right. The path is to kind of just slowly get promoted up through the rungs of local government. I guess so. To national government. So you get some kind of provident, prominence, some kind of celebrity to yourself, some kind of buzz to your name. Mm-hmm. And then they decide, yeah, then the party, the Democratic Party decides who they're going to, like, run as their person. Yeah, as their nominees. So then, how should, should I be trying to work for the Democratic Party? <clears throat> like, I don't even know how any of that machine works, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Already that system's fucked. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're just like, what? I don't know. Like, whoever kisses the most ass, or kisses the right ass at the right time, the right amount of smooch. Some people <laughs> say that, moisture. What's our president right now? Joe Biden. Biden say he's a career smooch butt kisser. A I believe it. He's been kissing ass for seventy years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if, if, but he'd kiss the right ass like thirty years ago, and then just stayed in the running for <laughs> being a political candidate, potential president, vice president, president. Right. What? And then yeah, um, <laughs> from what everything I've seen about our president, that motherfucker's. Do- doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> so close. Barely awake. <laughs> Talking about children sitting on his lap and fucking around with his leg hair in the pool or some shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> it was on Joe. It was on the JRE. Uh, uh, I don't even remember uh, exactly what the clip was, but something about Joe or uh, yeah, Joe Biden. Uh, maybe he had a press conference, but he was just maybe or maybe kind of doing something like a not even not even like a formal press conference, but just doing some sort of media presence like a, at a local pool or some shit in a public setting. But yeah, he was just talking about he just mentioned kids sitting on his lap and then them playing with his leg hair or some shit. <laughs> okay, it sounded super incoherent, and super creepy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I don't know what, what the fuck. What the fuck are you talking about? No clue, bro. No, no. He fell off the bike a couple times, or yeah, he's riding the bike, and just falls down. <laughs> <laughs> just right, whoops! <laughs> he just stops pedaling. 
it's not funny, but it's funny because it's like that's imagine being like a head coach and being like, that's my quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo, oh, gosh, no, yeah, that guy's not fucking getting in there and reworking things and he making them better. He represents us, you know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That just made me sad. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> they represent us. Every U.S. citizen. You are the face of every U.S. citizen in every national gathering. And you're going to look like that. You're going to be doing this like that, Sleepy Joe? I need to have fucking Jocko Willick the in there, rock. bitch. The Rock. <laughs> yeah. Get Jocko in there every time. Jocko in The Rock, bro. Jocko Rogan. Jocko Goggins. Oh my God. 2024. We need it. We need it. it it's going to be too much. It's going to be like <laughs> like when he trained uh, the guy for the fight. But that's fine. We can take four years of overtraining with David Goggins. Come on. We won't be soft as a nation anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every senior has to run a marathon before they can graduate high school. <laughs> that's how you graduate high school, motherfucker. A lot of high school just become running. <laughs> <laughs> It's the majority of your day. Dude. Yeah, presidents are crazy. Yeah, do you have a president? I guess it all stems from the initially from that place of like, let's make this let's make it better. Let's make it as good as we can make it. Make it fair. Make it I think George Washington didn't want a president, right? I don't yeah, know if that's true. Not a permanent president. I'm sure that's definitely true. Yeah, I wanted to switch it out. But yeah, now it's gotten to a control game, money game. Who knows what the fuck's really going on with any of that shit? They all pedophiles and shit. Who knows? I don't know. Speculation, Yana. It's just so crazy. It's like all the rich people are pedophiles. It's like, right. man, it sounds like you hate rich people. When you just get, when you just get, I think it's when you just get bored. When you get bored is that with life. What it is? I don't know. I think it's a chasing of the tangible, you know? Or like a, an overindulgence in the tangible, like uh-huh. pleasure or like, you know, you know what okay, I'm saying? Okay. The feeling of en- enjoyment of, yeah, pleasure in this realm. It's like Lead so you there? I think so. It could. The overindulgence part. Mm-hmm. And the control part and the doing what you're not supposed to be doing part, partially because who's going to tell you what to do? You know what I'm saying? As a billionaire. Yeah. Yeah. Not even morality. Could tell me what to do. I can see that. You know what like, I'm saying? I can see that. I'm seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm looking at it. Like, it's, it's like, I'm like, that. That's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, what, if I were to become a billionaire, I don't think it'd go that way for me, is what I'm it. saying. Facts. I don't think it's like... Uh... It's like you're saying it's getting fat for billionaires. Like if you overindulge in pizza, you get fat. It's like a sexual overindulgence, but the fat be- is like pedophilia. I'm not saying you're wrong. Yeah, maybe. It's just crazy. That's the human nature of things. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's a weird combination of things. A certain kind of combination. Maybe it's more cabalistic. Like maybe that's like the weapon of the the, the elite, elite, elite. Mm-hmm. Is to put you in that well, position. Black, yeah, black, blackmail you and frame you with that shit. And I frame you with whatever, you know what I'm saying? Having the ability to own you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, like how many people literally, I don't know if this happens, but they're like, I want this political position so bad, I'd do anything for it. They're like, oh, yeah, well, you know, go do this and we're going to like film you and then we'll give you all the money you need. You can have the job you want, but when we want you to do what we want you to do, then you're going to do what we want you to do. You're going to do it. Yeah. And this you're going to dance. Mentally unstable person doesn't have their life together. You know, losing their family, losing their mortgage. They're, it's not going to work out. They're fucking failing. They're fucking flimsing like a fish. They're like, <laughs> okay, I'll do it. It's like, bruh, I guess that, I could see that being how they fucking, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it gets that way. I don't know how it gets that way. But I think it's like the... Most apprehensible, you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the, the, com- that's the- <laughs> that's just like a like a, a thing that we could all think of. It's like what's like the worst thing you could do? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, that's pretty much there, you know. And they're into that, just doing the worst thing you can do. 
yeah. in a sadistic way. Yeah, I yeah. guess that's sadism. Yeah, being a like giving into or like a, a satanist or you know what I'm saying, trying to praise that dark energy. Like, what's the word? You know, yeah, you know, atrocities against God, or it's like the anti-hero. I don't know how or why. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, you fucking. Go fuck yourself. I don't, I don't want, to, want, to, want to use a word that'd get me canceled. <laughs> you go fuck yourself if you're like that. <laughs> Those are my, I have two thoughts going on in my head. One of them is go fuck yourself, <laughs> brother. <laughs> if you just are into fucking evil shit, like you're in, you're into manipulating people and you're into like stealing the, the feeling of getting over on someone or hitting a lick on someone or like mm-hmm. the like you have like a red lightsaber like you're like i'm playing this game i'm the force like, the dark side. yeah i'm playing blue there's blue lightsabers green lightsabers orange lightsabers we're all trying purple to fucking, purple we're building the community we're really trying to have good samuel <laughs> this fucking red lightsabers motherfuckers just coming in trying to fight us for no reason like we're <laughs> we're striving for better why are you bringing us down? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, doesn't make any sense. But there's people like that. Darth they Maul. go fuck themselves. I don't Ooh, know what motivates you to be like that. Mm-hmm. It's like the devil himself, you know? Mm-hmm. And then the other thought I have is like, I didn't, <laughs> I don't even want to say it, but I just think it's funny as a comedian, potential comedians. Comedians. Here we go. I'm going <laughs> to just run with the bit. I don't really understand like the rich people, pedophile sex rings. Because like kids aren't hot. <laughs> like where where's the allure like i don't get how, it how, what what are you thinking yeah I don't. how'd you get that <laughs> what you, you can pull any woman you want you're a billionaire like mm. you know what i'm saying you, yeah. like how how do you get all the way over here like <laughs> you, you got all galaxies of positive net profit over here like Pos- or infinite potential actresses olympians Whatever you're into, bro. If you have billions of dollars, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. sure that should be. So then, yeah, why? Why? I don't get it. I think part of it is the doing the thing you're not supposed to do. It's like the forbidden fruit. The idea of a forbidden fruit <laughs> leads me back to go fuck yourself. <laughs> Just evil, like yeah. There's part of you that's what if for whatever reason you want to manipulate for it, or you want to take, or you want to you want someone else to suffer for you to enjoy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Parasite fucks. Comes Sorry, stems from- <laughs> <laughs> just like it's a lot of vile for it. Yeah, yeah. No, fuck that, bro. Bring that sword to that shit. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's the answer to that. I don't know, but yeah, maybe that's the it's corruption of humanity. Place. It's like the need to destroy. That's what happens if you get like two the most extreme version of nihilism. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, look Jordan Peterson would say definitely. Yeah, on the extremes. Yeah. Like the Oklahoma. Yeah, like mass shootings. Yeah. All that. Damn, why? All that right, right. Damn our human nature. The fuck? <laughs> it's a, all these slippery slopes, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. First of all, it's not that complicated. Keep you can always have a decent life. Even if you just go get some shitty ass job at Amazon and work for like three or four months, you can get yourself a little apartment. You can have a steady job, steady routine. You can have decent food in your fridge. You can always get, get to this place where you're like, okay, I'm good. Like, I'm safe. I'm stable. It's like not that hard to get to stable. I've got a home base. Yeah. And then from stable home base, you fucking figure out what you want to do here. Mm hmm. They start expanding outwards. Yeah, and it kind of sucks every day. For sure, bro. Welcome to life. Like, <laughs> you want to fucking bitch about that to the point where you want to kill other people? Yeah, who are also dealing with that same exact thing you're dealing with. You're a pussy, bro. You're just a pussy. That's what it is. I'm sorry to tell you. I ain't a doctor, but you're a pussy. <laughs> yeah, bro. You want to fucking... Come on, bro. Like, we're, dude, are you trying to go lift weights right now? Yeah. I don't want to lift those fucking weights. Yeah. I don't want to do it at all. <laughs> I want to go back to bed right now. It'd be so simple. But like, I, I'm, I, the thing that we're talking about that makes those people a pussy, they like can't pussy. handle the weight of life so much so that they're going to fucking start having their back break and take it out on other people. Yeah, I'm trying like, to hurt other people deliberately. I'm just going to go suffer in the gym just to go 
try to do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Try to not fold to entropy. Yeah. Because it's spiritual entropy too to like, you know, tell the truth all the time and do the right thing. It takes like spiritual strength the same way like the weights. Mm -hmm. Like build that shit and get yoked. Yeah. 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 But there's fucking P. Diddy motherfuckers out here. I'm like. Motherfucking Nickelodeon motherfuckers. You see that shit? Bro, my sister's been telling telling me about the documentary. Yeah, we have, I haven't started. I haven't watched it, but it's on uh, HBO Max. Uh huh. I think quiet on set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a series. It's just coming out like weekly or some shit. So yeah, yes, yeah, so I think it's a series. I'm pretty sure. But oh. yeah, bro, those motherfuckers. Like, what the fuck, bro? No one knows. But now that we're, we're finding out, there's a whole bunch of other shit like that too. We're well, not a whole bunch, but. Other movies like that as well. Talking about this shit. Because it's crazy, bro. Pastor Ed was talking about that at church like a year ago or like eight months ago whenever he was doing that trending series. Uh-huh. And they're talking about that shit. The kidnapping. All that shit. It's uh, crazy. Child uh, child trafficking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How, how real that shit is <clears throat> with Snapchat mm-hmm. and Instagram and shit like that. Mm-hmm. The fuck, brother? You're a pussy. I think it's it's probably child trafficking is probably lucrative as fuck. You probably make a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Being a pussy, selling your soul, dog. <laughs> yeah. That's that's selling your soul for real. Like what the fuck? Selling your soul, man. Well, there's just people just down to do it. There's people just down to do it. Like people who are scamming. They were talking about that in the Joe Rogan, Joey Diaz, like people who are doing scams and shit. The Nigerian prince scam and all that fucking shit. And now AI is getting crazy. I'm sure the scams are going to get even crazier, even more realistic, even more thought out and lucrative, or not, uh, like thought out and fucking complex. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Jesus Christ. We live in a crazy place. You need to be spiritually strapped. Mm hmm. You got to be ready to go. That shit's real. It's real. That's fucking real. You got to fucking protect your family and shit. Mm hmm. Like. There's also a, there's a way to do it. Like there's a foundational. Jesus is like exponentially gives you a perfect path to get through the craziness of mm-hmm. everything around you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and that's awesome. So like you can protect your family more or less. Like maybe not from everything, but like it's not like where you, that that would be like something that would feed nihilism. It's like this place is so fucked up. Everything's fucking wrong. I need to fucking go. Oh, I want to just forget. Then all of a sudden you're one of the bad guys. Mm. But, like, there's a way. There's a fucking... It's, like, a path. To be the hero. Yeah. And have a good life. Stand for something. I don't know. Man. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go to Play-Doh school in this bitch. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. (laughs) Sorry. To all the (laughs) moms and kids out there. Sorry if that was loud. That's all we got. We That's all we keep got. Pushing, 20, 24 hours. Go crazy. Yeah. Go crazy, man. Go crazy out there. Whatever the hell you're doing. Whatever you're tasked with. Just bear your, bear, bear your, bear your load. We're always bearing loads over here. We're all just doing what we got to do. Doing what we got to do to the best of our ability. That's what we got at this moment. Let's go. That's all we're doing. Let's go. Let's go. Every I'm time we do you. that, the fucking... I'm rooting for you, too. Let's go. Angels sing, bro. We want you to win. We want you to win. The angels are singing. <laughs> yeah, go go nuts. Get the momentum going. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, Ready to we'll go, go kill it? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's sign them out. Hell yeah. We'll catch y'all on the flippy flops. Next week for episode. See you on Thursday for 37, yeah, right? I'll see you soon. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah it's, it's, no. Is it 36? Is it 37? It's 37. 37. We'll see you for number 38. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Okay. Bye. Enjoy your lives. To the light show Really ain't no telling where we might go I just flipped the switch, I'm in my zone Feelings on my wrist